Hey YouTube, so I have some pretty important discoveries in regards to mental health and B vitamins. Um, I have not been able to cook liver myself and um, I've been taking this grass-fed beef liver which is uh, nowhere, nowhere near as potent as the real thing. And I've just been kind of blah and getting by, you know, not having uh, like chronic depression or anything like that, but just eh you know, still kind of morose uh, for quite a number of months because I wasn't able to cook beef, beef liver. I lived with a guy who had a really sensitive nose and even after airing out the house for hours, like he could still smell it. So I'm like, crap, I have to find some other solution. But lately I got interested in, in finding other foods that have a ridiculous amount of B12 in them. And I started looking through a USDA uh, nutrition database and stumbled upon oysters which are available at pretty much every grocery store and on a lot of different formats. And then also clams. Um, both of these contain more B12 per ounce and per calorie than beef liver, which I did not even think was possible. Um, and when I tried oysters the first time, like I ate an entire can of this, I have never felt so blasted into space um, doing any drug that I've ever done when I was younger or even with eating four ounces of beef liver like it was way 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 too much I was so happy the world could have collapsed around me and I would have been just fine like it was just like it was like taking a really powerful euphoria drug and I was like okay this shit's potent I've taken three ounces of this and I'm in space so I need to take half the next day I took half I'm like I still got kind of a buzz so I had to dial it down to one ounce a day and then I was like okay cool well um, it's a lot less disgusting to eat oysters I don't have to cook them I can find them at any grocery store um, I can buy them in bulk really cheap it's so much better of a solution than eating beef liver and I think I'll just stick with that but I um, continued to eat oysters every day and I noticed that having a consistently good mood made me notice other issues in other parts of my brain that had been nagging me for a long time. Like there were days where I would have kind of like a nervous agitation or maybe an anxiety you might call it or irritability and that, that that's always been wavering all throughout my life where I have like sort of bad days sort of good days and I never really know what it is that's going to make a day bad or good. But um, in, in contrast to having a good mood and having also that feeling, that negative feeling at the same time, I was like, this is really weird. I feel like I haven't fixed my brain exactly just yet. So knowing that I have some kind of um, nutrient absorption issues, I started looking into the other B vitamins. And the one that really stood out to me was vitamin B1, thiamine. And I did an analysis of my low carb diet and realized that I am absolutely deficient in that nutrient. I was like, okay, let's try supplementing that. But I know that a lot of um, vitamin B supplements come in this format that I can't absorb. Like I went to the grocery store and looked for like a full spectrum B complex and like all of them contain cyanocobalamin, which has like a 0% conversion rate for me. I'm like, okay, probably all the other formats are not good. And they, they sort of, it's just like a cheap, low quality supplement. So I started, um, Reading about uh, MHTFR, which is like a gene mutation that prevents you from absorbing um, certain vitamins and converting them into the format in, in that your body actually uses. And I was like, do they make supplements for people that have that gene disorder? And I found out they do. So they make uh, a couple B vitamin supplements that are um, uh, designed for high absorption. And a lot of the B vitamins are methylated so that if you have that gene mutation, you'll actually get those vitamins in. And I was like, cool, I'll order one of those. And so I ended up um, getting this one because it was the most, uh, the highest bang for the buck. Uh, come on, come on camera, you can do it. There you go. Um, it was like $11. I was like, okay, we'll try that. I tried it and it's like, all that anxiety and agitation and uh, irritability and noise sensitivity, lack of focus, just gone. And I was like, whoa, it's probably the thiamine, but I don't know because it's all the B vitamins. So I started looking into that a little bit more and I was like, I, I started reading about vitamin B1 deficiency and what it can do to your brain. 
and usually when you look, you'll find out um, that it can cause beriberi, which is like, you know, this old timey disease that suddenly, you know, supposedly we we no longer experience anymore. But like um, like being not completely deficient can actually get you a condition called Korsakoff's psychosis. And alcoholics can suffer this too because alcohol depletes vitamin B1. But um, with Korsakoff's psychosis, you very slowly go crazy and your brain starts falling apart over a long period of time. And in reading about that psychosis, I went, oh my gosh, this, like, I feel like I have a very low grade version of this. But it describes my dad to a T because throughout his life, he's been a little bit off when he was younger, but then he gradually got worse and worse and worse to a point where he couldn't hide his crazy thoughts. And um, eventually in his like 40s, his crazy thoughts became his norm. And he couldn't separate those thoughts from reality anymore. And now when he's, he's currently in his 60s, he is so crazy that, that um, none of his family will ever talk to him. Everyone in his little community is completely terrified of him. And uh, he's got delusions about being the second coming of God and stuff. Uh, I've watched this over the course of his life and then also was alarmed to realize that I'm sort of in the beginning stages of this. And I even did like a nutrient analysis of my diet. I'm like, I'm deficient in B1. My brain's slowly falling apart. It's a fucking vitamin deficiency. And nobody in the low carb world has ever talked about this. Um, I'm like, whoa, it was just, it was uh, earth shattering. But in the first day of taking this, I felt like my brain was in control. And um, as the days have gone by, uh, it feels more and more like I'm having normal brain function. Like I am able to focus on complex tasks and not get distracted. Um, I'm able to work longer hours as a programmer and Linux systems administrator, which usually really frazzles my brain and just makes me want to drink. <laughs> Uh, after about five hours and then by the eighth hour I'm like I'm fucking done you know and then things like um, uh, being in traffic with all the retired drivers here in Utah doesn't piss me off as much um, somebody um, can drop a pan in the in the kitchen here and it doesn't just like shatter my attention you know it's just like it's just a noise I don't like hyper respond to it and I don't have like that irritability and I'm like wow so that's interesting um, I also decided to experiment on a girlfriend who has OCD and she's on an SSRI drug for it, which is kind of weird. Um, I learned that if you have uh, any kind of issue with your digestion, you can actually develop uh, OCD, depression, anxiety. And this has been noted in people who have had gastric bypass uh, operations, where they're shrinking the size of the stomach. It will damage the stomach and its production of enzymes and other things that help you absorb vitamins. And you could literally spontaneously develop a number of different mental health disorders. So I was like, do you want to try this supplement and see if it helps you? So she has been on it for two days and she's noticing already that she can control her impulses better and that the medication only did about half of the job. So this is uh, this, this high absorption uh, B vitamin and maybe maybe it's the B1 maybe it's the B2 who knows but it's all of them and it works and it's cheap has been ha helping her mental illness as well um, so it really makes me wonder how many mental illnesses are due to poor digestion poor diet um, genetic issues um, enzymes uh, really the key might not be in medicating it which is usually has like not so, such a great outcome but maybe maybe it's in nutrition um, so what I'm gonna do in this video because you've been following me and you're interested in improving your mental health is I'm gonna include two links to the best um, B complex products I found on Amazon when I was researching these are not referral links I do not make any money um, I want you to try them and report back to me and there'll be links below and if this information has been helpful to you, uh, let me know. And thanks for watching. Bye.